हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पाइस पार्क टूटोरियल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द रैंकिंग फंक्शन सो रैंकिंग फंक्शन आर कमिंग अंडर द विंडोज फंक्शन सो टूडे विल सी अबाउट द रो नंबर रैंक एंड डेंस रैंक रैंकिंग फंक्शन सो दीज फंक्शन आर वेरी सिमिलर एज सिकल्स ओवर सो रो नंबर इज गोइंग टू यूज फॉर जनरेटिंग ए सिक्वेंस नंबर बेस्ड ऑन द ऑर्डर बाय क्लॉज ऑन द एनी पर्टिकुलर कॉलम एंड वी कैन आल्सो डू द पार्टीशन रैंक विल आल्सो गोइंग टू जनरेट द सीक्वेंस नंबर एंड डेंस रैंक विल आल्सो डू द सेम थिंग व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज थ्री विल सी इन प्रैक्टिकल लेट मी क्विकली गो इनसाइड द ब्राउजर एंड विल ट्राई टू सी प्रैक्टिकल सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन ऑफ द डेटा फ्रेम एंड इट इज हैविंग टोटल थ्री कॉलम्स विद नेम डिपार्टमेंट नेम एंड सैलरी so now the requirement is we'll see about the rank dense rank and row number so let's start with the row number first so what i want to do i want to generate a sequence number over here and it will be on the descending order or the ascending order of the salary so for using the windows function we have to first import the windows so we can use the from pyspark dot sql dot windows so we can import the windows function like this and we can also import the function so we can use the from pyspark dot sql dot function and i am going to import this all now first i am going to use the existing data frame that we have created and here i am going to add a new column so for adding a new column we can use with column so we can go with the with column first parameter asking about the column name so column name would be serial number of row number now here we have to use the row number function so simply we can use the row underscore number so the syntax are very similar here we can use the over clause dot over and inside this bracket we need to use the window dot order by and inside that we can simply pass the column name so i just want to pass the column name as salary let me put this in another data frame and here i am going to use the display command with the df1 let me try to execute and we'll see the output okay so we have to use the order by let me execute now okay here we have to specify the bracket so this syntax so here we can see it has generated a sequence order and it is starting from 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, like that it is added and even if we are having the same salary then it is continuous increasing the numbers so here we can also use the partition so how we can do the partition on this so after this windows we can add dot and here we can add partition by and inside this bracket we can specify on which column basis we want to do the partition so maybe we want the partition on the basis of department name now let me try to execute and we'll see the output so here we can see the partition has been enabled and we can see the finest department so the serial number is 1 2 3 and after that this serial number has been reset to 1 for the marketing it is 1 2 and for the sales we can see 1 2 3 like that so this is very similar to the sql server now this is all about the row number now we can also use the rank so instead of row number we can simply use the rank and remaining everything will be same so we can execute and we'll see so here it is generating a rank so rank is 1 2 3 as we can see then 1 1 then 1 2 and here we have the 1 1 so why we have 1 1 here because as you could see the sales is having the same salary so if we have the same salary then it will generate the same sequence number which is 1 1 and then we can see next number will be skipped in case of the rank and in case of the dense rank the next number will not be skipped this number will be 
so let me also use the dense rank here dense underscore rank let me execute it and here if you can scroll down then we can also verify it so here for the sales we can see the number is one one then it is having two two then three so like that we can also use so i hope you have understand how we can use the dense rank rank and row number we can also put this value in a variable so let me try to cut it from here and let me create a variable maybe with x and here we can specify it and here we can simply use this variable and try to execute so it will be working fine so either you can specify this partition by in a variable and after that you can also use that variable in your query so either way you can use it so i hope guys you have understand how we can use the row number rank and dense rank functor thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video